evening. It'll be tapering off. I promise you'll look at the tropics. We still have just those two active storms. Danielle way out to the north and Earl outside of the Caribbean Sea. But look at its track. It has actually been adjusted farther east, farther away from anywhere toward the Bahamas or the U.S. East Coast. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. It's going to get drawn through a weakness here and head off to the north and northeast. While Danielle eventually has a trough coming off of Canada and that will push Danielle way to the east, northeast as well. Other than that, there's only one other wave coming off the coast of Africa. This one has a low chance for development, only 20% in the next five days. So just something to watch. But I will say this one does indicate or the indications from the long range models are for this one to maybe kind of slowly strengthen around here and then perhaps fizzle eventually farther out in the central Atlantic. We'll certainly watch it. We'll keep you updated, but doesn't look like at this point, at least with the long range models, it'll get near our part of the ocean. Tropical Storm Earl very quickly. It is bringing some gusty winds and rain, maybe three to five inches or so to parts of the Leeward Islands and other Caribbean islands, but most of its stronger winds are to the north and east. So this one is going to be moving north and might actually become a category uh, two or three by the end of the week, maybe our first major hurricane by the end of the week, whereas Danielle will eventually move into cooler waters, although it is a category one hurricane. It will eventually weaken by the end of the week. It looks like with cooler water and more